Uh, hello, everyone. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the uh, recent events. So, um, I believe like yesterday, some like uh, big building like collapsed or like part of it collapsed, and there was, like Jews that were in it. Um, I don't know the details, but um, everywhere other people were sent to home and this and that. But why didn't you do something before it happened? The hell, uh, you could say all that the hell you want, but it's already after the fact. Why didn't you do tshuva before Hashem had to send this plague uh, to us? When are you going to wake up? It's There's already the um, whole thing with Lot the Omer. There was a thing with the rockets to Israel, and now there's this. And, um, and there was anti-Semitic stuff, all over, uh, attacks all over the world. And there was corona, and... You're not gonna wake up. Say all that the hell you want. It's, it's that that's already after the fact. Why didn't you prevent it by doing tshuva or uh, fix fix what's happening? This is clearly a sign from Hashem, and it's not a, a sign from Hashem that you you need to say more to hell. It's a sign that you have to do tshuva. I mean, uh, like it's like let's say you you have some new. Uh, looking birthmark thing on your uh, skin and you you get to you you're you're high risk of getting cancer and you go to the doctor to get tested to to uh, get it to see if it's cancer so do you so really a person should dive in before he gets the results because if he waits till he gets the results then it is cancer and then then Hashem would have to make an outright miracle instead of before the results when it is actually cancer, but he could switch it and then it won't seem like an actual miracle. Because Hashem won't just start doing miracles left and right uh, because you're, you're too lazy to, uh, to daven before the results. So, um, it's like, do something before, like, the, it happens. So, I mean, let's say someone dies. Uh, I don't know, there's a building collapse, uh, someone dies. Uh, okay, the person's already dead. Like, okay, stay to helm, I guess it helps, but you could have done a lot more if you would have done chuva. If you would have done chuva, it would have prevented the whole thing in the first place. So, um, I just uh, made this video for like people to wake up and uh, try to wake up and uh, uh, I'm gonna get their act together, uh, do shuva. Also, uh, really recommend um, uh, this uh, the book. Uh, I recommend uh, Sefer Chavetz Chaim. Uh, if anyone, uh, any. Um, Teens in the CBS uh, community of Philadelphia. Um, if you would like Sefer uh, uh we will try. We will try to get you one for free, no, no charge. Um, all you need to do is uh, check in the um, in the description, and you could either uh, and you could uh, contact me by uh, texting my phone number or calling my phone number. Or you could uh, email the CBS Team Learning Program, Gmail, um, and we'll try to uh, get your book as soon as possible. Um, and uh, it's a very crucial book on Lashon Haram Rechilis. We actually started a series on it, and I uh, recommend you guys to listen to it, because if you haven't gone through the book, chances are you're uh, doing lots of prohibitions. Okay, so point is of all these like plagues and everything and all these stuff that's happening is to wake you up there's no other reason if we didn't do anything Hashem wouldn't do it so whatever to home's already after the fact do something before it happens um so uh I hope you guys uh, learned something from this um and uh yeah, I hope you guys have a great Shabbos or a great rest of the day, depending on when you 
watch this.